Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to episode number 77 of our Trapped MC Prison Series. We just had a bunch of events that went off. We had a tax refund. We had two Mega Drop parties, and uh, we're mining today, guys. We're currently still P9. Um, we are on the grind towards P10, and uh, I got to turn down my volume a little bit because that's going to be... Uh, a little loud for me, but guys, hopefully you're doing well. Um, man, it's been a long day. Uh, like it's been a great day, but it's been a long day. Uh, I went to a football game today, and man, I am pooped. I am simply just tired. Uh, the heat was pretty overwhelming, and man, it is good to be in the air conditioning again. And yeah, I'm just glad to be glad to be here. Glad to be able to record a little bit. There's literally 55 minutes of mining event going on right now. That's crazy. But, guys, um, I'm excited for today's episode. We're at, on episode 77. This wild. Uh, literally been uploading every other day on this series for a while now. I almost missed today, but um, luckily I got home. I'm able to record this, and we are able to rock and roll so yeah pretty pretty cool stuff and um yeah it's just uh good vibes good times i don't really have a particular plan for this video but we're just doing some mining today we're making some cash but man i, I gotta you know one thing that's on my mind is time management just how i'm managing all my time because there's so many things i would love to do in life like there's just so many things I would love to do uh, in terms of you know with my church with you know Minecraft with you know sports extracurricular activities all that stuff but there's only 24 hours in a day there's only 24 hours in a day guys and it's important to understand like you know I'm not saying this from a like, oh, I have experience on you guys' perspective. I'm, I'm saying this because I'm trying to remind myself, too, that <clears throat> we got to learn to say no to stuff. Um, we got to learn to say no to things that people offer us that will consume our time, resources, energy, all that stuff. We have to learn to, to say no and be like, no, that's, that's not in my budget. No, that's not on my plan for today or for the week. Uh, no, I just simply can't make that work. Sometimes you don't even need to give an answer. It's just like, no, that's okay. Thanks for the offer. Like, I don't know. I feel like, um, I feel like naturally I'm a people pleaser. I feel like naturally I like to please people. I don't like to create tension or bad blood. Um, I like to avoid conflicts naturally. I'm getting better, but at the same time, there's still areas that I need to work on. I need to learn to say no more. Um, I think, and, you know, I think it's important to be able to say no confidently and be <clears throat> just, you know, you gotta say no, you gotta learn to protect my time, my resources, my energy, all that stuff. So it's something that's been on my mind as of late, just learning to say no more. And, um... Yeah, so that's just uh, some some thought. Uh, in terms of time management, I feel like I'm I'm busy, which is good. It's good to be you know busy. Um, but yeah, I mean I'm just trying. I mean, like I said, there's so many things I want to do, but there's not. You know, I don't have unlimited time to do everything. So I gotta really be selective about like okay, like this this is part of my plan. This is part of what I want to do. Uh, and then I have to also be like, no, this is not, you know, there's there's many other things that I could rather do that would be better, a better use of time. So those things have been on my mind recently. Um, it's important just to, for me to speak these things out loud, just to kind of reflect on these things and stuff. But yeah, things are good, guys. I mean, you know, I'm currently, I got stuff going on my other channel uh you know it's a podcast about personal finance uh, it's called donovan's financial coaching that is the name of it um 
yeah, it's I've recorded two episodes so far, so it's pretty exciting. And yeah, it's it's been good. I, I really enjoyed that creating that podcast so far. There's no edits or anything. It's just me talking for 25, 30 minutes so far, and uh, it's been good. You know, I've I've been enjoying my time with that. Um, yeah, there's for example, like I want to be on Twitter. I want to be on LinkedIn. I want to be on Facebook. I want to be on, uh, you know, I want to write medium articles. I want to record YouTube videos for one channel and then record videos for another channel. And then it's just like, okay, well, I can't do everything. I can't do half of those things. You know, it's like, okay, I got to figure out what is going to be the best use of time and what is going to uh, go more towards my mission statement of, you know, helping people and uh, because entertainment is something I, w- I like to do. I like to make these videos to entertain, but also I, you know, I have other dreams and aspirations to uh, glorify God with. And you know, I feel like that podcast that I'm starting on my other channel is a better way to do that. I'm not saying that, um, like my current strategy is, you know, bad. But I'm saying I think there's other areas of my life that God's calling me towards. Um, more more strongly than you know others, and I gotta kind of figure that out, you know. So uh, I don't know if you guys pray or anything like that, but I saw a video the other day of um, this guy named Derek. He's a Sky Wars player on Hypixel, and he uh, he he said this like he's um, he's like I don't know if you guys pray, but you know if you guys can pray for me in regards to those things. Um, He said that, you know, in different contexts relating to stuff that was happening in his life, but I thought that was really cool. He asked his viewers to pray for him, and that's definitely something I've I've done in the past, but it's something I don't ask of you guys very often, but yeah, if you guys don't mind just saying a prayer for me, I'd appreciate it. Um, Yeah, you know, it's... It's cool. It's cool being able to pray for each other. It is really cool. <clears throat> so, thank you guys. Whether you pray or not, you know, whether you took the time to pray or not, it, thank you for watching this video. Thank you for praying. I appreciate each and every one of you. Um, and that kind of leads me into, like, the next thing, like, you know, God God cares about what you're going through and the struggles you're you're going through. He cares about even the littlest of things that you might not think God would ever give a crap about. He cares about it all. He cares about what's on your heart. And the best part is we don't have to think to ourselves, man. I don't want to waste God's time with the littlest of issues that I have. He doesn't want to hear about that stuff, is what someone might say, or many of you might say. But I will. I want to encourage you guys that God does care about the littlest of things and the biggest of things. God cares about everything that's on your heart. He cares about how you're feeling. And the best part of it is in Scripture, it tells us to pray in all that we do. And I don't think that's meant to be literal, like, to not, you know, I don't think God wants us to pray every second of our lives, but I do think he wants to be invited into our daily struggles and our daily our daily um, actions that we take. You know, I think he wants to be invited, like, oh, you just, um, you know, you, you found a shortcut at work to save you a little bit of time each day. Like, oh, that's cool. Um, you know, thank God for that. Praise God. Like, oh, you just, um, you were walking in the park and it said it was going to rain or something and it didn't rain. Praise God, you know. Praise God that you were able to walk in the park and not get downpoured on. Uh, on the flip side, it's like, okay, um, you're at work and you have a ton of work to get through. I mean, it's just overwhelming. You feel stressed. You feel like, man, I don't know how many of all this work done. So 
an opportunity to invite God into the situation and be like, hey, God, I am overwhelmed. I feel overwhelmed right now. I just um, I have a lot on my plate today at work, and I just pray that you help me get through it. That's, that's what I think, you know, when God says in, in the Bible to pray in all that we do. It's not literally saying to pray every second of the day, but it's saying to actively make prayer a part of your day. And not just something you do right before bed or something you do in the morning when, right when you get up. Like that, Those things are great. Don't get me wrong. But I think it's also very effective while you're experiencing that suffering in life. Suffering can range. You know, suffering can be the smallest of things like, you know, feeling overwhelmed at work to a, a death in the family to cancer. All of that. It's, it's all suffering. And God wants us to invite him into that suffering. He wants us to rejoice in our sufferings because it is all temporary here on this earth. We will suffer here on this earth, but God has something planned for us in his kingdom. He is building us a city, a heavenly city. He is building us a seat at the table up in heaven. And I think that's really comforting knowing that he has designed a spot for each and every one who truly believes that Jesus Christ is our Lord and Savior. It's really, really cool. Super encouraging that he has a spot for us at the table if we believe that Jesus is our Lord and Savior because he, he lived a life that none of us could possibly live, and he took the blame for all of the things that we did not do right and continue to not do right. Jesus bore the weight of all of that, and it's just so cool to be able to live a new life and be able to share this good news with you guys via this platform. And I don't know how many views this is going to get. I don't know how many of you are going to even make it this far, but if you do make it this far in the video, that means you are somewhat interested or somewhat tuned into the conversation that I'm saying. And I encourage you that if you haven't given your life to Jesus, I I pray that today you take a moment and you tell God and you reach out to God. You're, you're like, hey God, I'm going to give my life to you. I'm going to truly declare Jesus as Lord. And I'm going to truly believe that you are the creator of this world and that you exist. And not only do you exist, but you you are sovereign. You are in control of my life. And that you are a good God. But most importantly, that Jesus is the Lord of my life. I, guys, I encourage you to, to take that step. And to truly take action on this. Because... Tomorrow is not guaranteed, and time is running out. And I just want to encourage you that we have hope in Jesus. So, yeah. Guys, thank you so much for tuning in to this episode of this beautiful server. I'm really glad to be able to play on the server while talking about Jesus. You know? I just think this server is so fun. I'm able to use this, this server to play Minecraft. It's great. But obviously it's a prison server and I, I can only do so much unique content each video. So I'm really glad I'm able to just talk and be myself and really talk about topics that I'm truly passionate about. 
and just mine some blocks while doing so. It's pretty cool. But guys, thank you so much for being a part of this video with me, and uh, thanks for sticking to the end. With that being said, I'm going to wrap it up for now, but uh, I'll see you in the next one. Take care. Have a great day. And thank you for your prayers. I appreciate it. With that being said, I'll see you in the next episode. Take care. Peace.